In this video, we're going to find the volume and the surface area of cylinders. So we'll start with the volume. So let's start with the volume. So a cylinder is just like any other prism. So to find the volume, we do the area of the cross section. In this case, it's the area of the of the circle. So the area of the circle times how tall it is, so times the height. So it's going to be pi times r squared, which is the area of a circle, times the height. So in this case, we've got pi times 9 squared times 12. So we can type that in the calculator, and that will give us 972 pi uh, centimeters cubed. Or we could write that as a decimal, which would be 3053.6 centimeters cubed to one decimal place. So volume, just area of the top or area of the bottom times the height. Surface area. So we need to do the area of each surface. So we know we've got two circles, one at the top, one at the bottom. And the area of them is pi times the radius squared. So we've got pi times r squared, pi times 9 squared in this case, so 81 pi. And I've got two of them. So I've got 81 pi, 81 pi, top and bottom. This curved bit. So it's actually a rectangle. If you imagine you've got a tin of soup or a tin of beans and you pulled the label off, the label would actually be a rectangle. So its height is 12. So we've got 12 times and the length of it is the circumference of the circle. So it's that far around and the circumference of the circle is pi times the diameter, which is 18. So it's 12 times pi times 18, which is 216 pi. So in total, we've got 81 pi, 81 pi, and 216 pi. So we've got 378 pi centimeters squared, or as a decimal, that's 1187.5 centimeters squared. So volume, area of the top times how far down it goes, and surface area, area of the two circles, plus the circumference times the height. So what we'll do is we'll do another example. So here we've got, so we start with volume again. So area of the top or area of the bottom is pi times five squared, pi r squared times the height, which is 10. So that would be 250 pi or as a decimal, 785.4 and that's volume so it's centimeters cubed surface area so we've got the two circles which are pi times r squared pi times um, 5 squared in this case so 25 pi we've got two of those 25 pi and we've got the curved bit which is pi times diameter pi times 10 times the height times 10. So that would be 100 pi. So the total surface area is 150 pi, or that would be 471.2, and it's centimeters squared, because this time it's area, surface area. Okay, here's one for you to try. So can you work out the volume and surface area of the cylinder? Okay, so volume first, we've got pi times r squared times height, pi times 7 squared times 15, and that gives us 735 pi, or that is 2309.1 centimeters cubed to 1 dp. Surface area, we've got two circles, so we've got circle number one, pi times r squared, 
which is pi times 7 squared, which is 49 pi. The other circle, also 49 pi. And then we've got our rectangle, which is pi times diameter for the length and times 15. That gives us 210 pi. So we've got 49 plus 49 plus 210, which is 308 pi centimeters squared. Or as a decimal, that's 967.6 centimeters squared to one degree.